Hi, we're going to write a program to simulate the rolling of two dice and displaying the number of sixes each die rolls. I've set up the GUI as you can see. I have a button called BTN Roll. We're going to double click on that. And I've already declared the variables that I'm going to use and we'll talk about it as I go through the program. So what we want to do is we want to roll two die 30 times. And what I'm going to do is run a loop for control space and I'm going to use the 4 with the begin and my loop is going to start at 1 and it's going to end at 30 so I'm going to take out the minus 1 you'll notice i has been declared of type integer so we're going to get a computer to randomly generate the numbers on the die so I've declared a variable called die1 which will be assigned and I'm going to use the random function and we're going to say random 6 which will give us a range from 0 to 5 and I'm going to add 1 so I get a range from 1 to 6. As we know, the numbers on a normal die run from 1 to 6. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to like any good comp uh, programmer, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to do the same thing for die 2. And I'm going to change die 1 to die 2. So I have the numbers being generated and assigned to the variables die 1 and die 2. Die 1 and die 2 is of type integer. Then I'm going to display on my actual GUI, which is called mem display. I'm actually going to display what has been generated. So, and I've quickly got in the code mem display, that's my memo, dot lines, dot add. And you'll notice that I'm displaying row, and then I'm using a hashtag 9. Or hash nine that one this is actually my headings so I want the headings to appear once so I'm going to cut that out and before the loop starts I'm gonna pay so I have headings that will be on the memo then in the actual loop I want to, to display the numbers that are actually generated on the die so very quickly I'm going to use the code mem display dot lines dot add and what we actually doing is saying right we want to display i which is your loop variable and then hash nine which leaves a tab space and then i'm going to display die one and then die two you know just i have to use an int to str because die one is an integer i need to convert it into a string so we're now moving on and the next thing that i'm going to do is it'll be good to actually stop the program right now and see what actually happens so control D I'm gonna run this program and at this stage if we look at what is taking place and you'll notice that our goo is a little small All right, I need to make it a little bigger to accommodate but you can see there's our roll numbers there's die one there's die two so getting back to the GUI I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can actually see what is transpiring and if we run that very quickly and we press on roll we get roll that's roll one die one and die two and these are all the numbers that have been generated using the uh, random function returning to our code okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to work out how many sixes die one and die two so we're going to set up what we call a counter and I've declared count as a type inch and I'm going to say count is assigned zero. So we want to now check. Okay, let's 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 look at a double six. How do we get a double six? If both dies produce a double six, we would say if die one is equal to six and die two is equal to six then we're going to increase our counter and that will count how many double six has been rolled uh, and then outside the loop I'm going to output the value of count which means the number of double six that has been rolled and very quickly I'm going to do that and the code for that is memo mem display dot lines dot add. That's our message number of double six rolled and count is storing that for us so we can to 
output count. If we now run the program and click on roll, you'll notice the number of double six rolled is one. And we can quickly go through this. Can you see we have a six and a six, so it's telling us one. I'm gonna run it one more time, but I'm gonna return to my GUI. I'm gonna make it a little bigger because I cannot see the heading that has been cut out. So if we run it on another level or another time, we click on roll, roll, die one, die two. You can see number of double sixes, so we don't have any double sixes. So let's click roll again. And on this floor, we still don't have. And here we have our first one. Well done. And if you look through the code, look through the output very quickly, there's our double six on roll number 13. And it counts it as one. Thank you.